everyone! Today we are diving deep into a serious topic – programming languages for blockchains. Get ready to really sink your teeth into this. By the end, you'll know enough to impress people at parties. So stick around till the end to get the full scoop. First up on our list is Solidity. This is a high-level, object-oriented language created by the Falks at the Ethereum Foundation. Why? So you can write smart contracts for the Ethereum platform. Simple, right? In plain terms, smart contracts are automated deals and agreements that run without middlemen. You probably already know all this, but it's still pretty cool, right? Solidity complies into bytecode to run on the Ethereum virtual machine. Its syntax is a lot like JavaScript, so web developers can pick it up in no time. Solidity has all the bells and whistles you need, guys. That includes contracts for business logic, inheritance for complex components, libraries and interfaces for interaction. Basically, the whole package. And it's not just high. Over 75% of smart contracts on Ethereum are written in Solidity. It's used in awesome DeFi projects like Uniswap and Compound for crypto lending. You'll also find it in tap NFT marketplaces like OpenSea and Rarible and in DAOs like MakerDAO for project management. Even the legendary game CryptoKitties is built entirely on Solidity. Yeah. Solidity is so cool that it inspired the creation of other smart contract languages. For example, Viper emerged in 2017 as a simpler and more secure alternative. Developers from the Ethereum community even helped in its creation. By the way, Viper is using contracts for the major DeFi project Curve Finance. But in 2023, a vulnerability due to its similarity to Python led to Curve being hacked for around $70 million. Oh man, those bugs. Speaking of new and cool projects in the crypto industry, guys, catch this hot news about the Carve Protocol and their upcoming Verify Notes release. This feature aims to elevate the integrity, reliability and security of the protocol to a new level, guys. Verify nodes are lightweight community nodes that verify attestations on the blockchain and over time will handle data storage and transmissions. For node operators, this presents fantastic opportunities. First off, they'll get 25% of the total CARF token supply with almost half of that in the first year alone. Plus, Curve offers unique perks like partial buyback of nodes and governance privileges. And setting up a node is a piece of cake, guys. It can even run on a personal PC with minimal requirements. If you want to join in, check out that guide in the Curve documentation and get started. How to get in? For my community, Curve is opening exclusive access to limited whitelist guys. Just send the address of your wallet to the smart contract to secure your spot on the whitelist for the sale on the 3rd of July. The public sale will take place on the 5th of July and will be open to everyone on a first-come, first-served basis. So go for it! And what else is great about blockchains? The ability to use a bunch of different languages. Take Python, for example. It's considered very easy to learn, yet powerful and flexible. With a ton of libraries and an active community, Python is often used for rapid prototyping and testing blockchain applications. It's also used to write payment systems for integrating crypto payments into businesses. Then there is the old-timer C++. This is the language that Bitcoin, the ancestor of all blockchains, was written in. Because of its performance and low-level memory control, C++ is often chosen for high-performance blockchain protocols and smart contracts. The old guard never dies. And speaking of the new case on the block, we can't forget about Go or Golang from Google. This language is literally built for parallel computing and great performance. That's why it's actively used for blockchain nodes and decentralized applications. 
By the way, guys, Go has its own mascot, the anthropomorphic Gopha, named Gopha. You can see its cute face on all sorts of souvenirs, stickers and even memes. This furry little guy is basically the symbol of the Golang community. But the real star of recent years is Rust from Mozilla. This system's language is built around safety and performance. Thanks to Rust, Solana blockchain can handle an incredible 65,000 transactions per second. All smart contracts on Solana are strictly written in Rust. It's one of the few blockchains that doesn't support the Ethereum virtual machine and its counterparts. By the way, Solana made a lot of noise in the crypto industry of the past year. In the fall of 2023, it ranked third in weekly transaction volume after Ethereum and Arbitrum with almost $5 billion. Its DX trading exceeded $3 billion in a week and the total NFT market cap surpassed $367 million. Solana really burst into the crypto mainstream. So friends, did you manage to wrap your head around all these programming languages? Solidity, Viper, Python, C++, Go, Rust… And that's just a small fraction of what's used in the blockchain universe. In reality, there are a ton of programming languages for blockchains. It's no surprise since the crypto industry is growing at an incredible pace. To stay on top of this crazy wave, you need to be a true polyglot and constantly learn new languages. Even I get dizzy from the sheer variety of technologies. But that's the fun part of our wild industry. It never stands still. New languages, frameworks and protocols pop up every day. And if you don't keep up with this madness, guys, you'll quickly fall behind. So let's keep an eye on the latest developments, read documentation and master fresh stuff together. By the way, guys, all the interesting links will as always be waiting for you in the description. So how do you feel after all of this? Give a thumbs up if you enjoyed the programming languages topic. Subscribe to the channel and join our blockchain community. Together we'll create the future of the crypto world. I'm signing off for now, but I'll be back soon with more hot topics. See you soon, guys.